Welcome to Movie Recalled. In this video I am going to explain a Dutch family film called, Eep, let's get started. The movie begins in a small town, in the Netherlands. A middle-aged man named War, lives with his wife, Time, on a remote farm surrounded by open grounds. War, likes bird watching as a hobby. He frequently goes into the forest, along with telescopes and a book about birds. One day, War is viewing birds, when he hears buzzing noises nearby. He goes to check for the noise and finds a tiny creature, lying on the ground. War, picks up something hairy and believes it is a baby bird. On closer examination, he saw that it had a nose and a mouth like a child. He didn't know where it had come from and took it home first. He told to his wife that he had found a baby. His wife was stunned for a moment, then she took a fruit bowl and put a cloth on it and put the baby in it. The couple looked at the little one and began to think, what kind of bird is it? A magpie or a pachyderm or a new species of birdman? They decided to keep her with them for now and call her Birdie. As the couple had never had any children, they treated Birdie like their own. They bought a complete baby kit, a Barbie doll and took the clothes off and made them the size of Birdie's body. Then they set up the cot and put him in it. She was very well looked after. But as a normal child, you cannot have wings, so the wife took out an old sock and sewed a little cloak for Birdie to wear, so that no one could see her little wings. The couple then carried the baby into town. The people were curious to see the couple's adopted daughter. When they saw how cute Birdie was and tried to hold her, the wife pushed the carriage away. After living together, for a while Birdie grew quickly, although she was still small enough to fit on a fruit bowl. She had a lovely dress and two beautiful curls and followed her mother around. Suddenly she turns her head and realizes she is gone on second glance. It turns out that Birdie has a talent for birds and has learned to fly low, at a very young age. At night, she would sneak up to her parents and lie down between them to sleep with them. During the day, Birdie would compete with the chicks to see who had the bigger wings. This day, when she saw her dad approaching, Bird said. This made his wife very happy. It was the first thing the child had ever said. Then she said something else. Immediately the wife got excited and said that Birdie must be calling her mum. She thought that Birdie was learning to speak like a human and the husband said that it was probably their bird language and that she was not actually calling us at all. However, the wife made the decision to take the teaching seriously and every day she regularly teach Birdie with a few words. Birdie kept learning carefully but it seemed that no matter how she learned, she could not pronounce her mother's voice. The wife slowly started complaining to her husband about what she thought was a speech problem. So she decided to change the goal of her studies. Birdie had a plate of worms in front of her. She shrank straight away. Immediately afterwards, she saw the small protein-rich spiders on the floor and she squatted and started pecking at them with her mouth. It is the sort of thing parents are used to because she was not human but a bird. No one knew where she came from. The couple adopted Birdie and took care of her as if she were their own child. Gradually they realized that she had a nature that could not be changed. She cannot talk and she likes to eat bugs. She is taught to use a knife and fork with her feet and cannot learn to do it at all. The only thing she might have been able to do was fly. She always liked to look out of the window and try to feel the world. But her mother was always worried about how she would get on with her life if she left with only her wings. Her father said that her wings would allow her to do things at height that others could not do, so there was no need to worry. When the birdie is older, her wife will take her out on the streets alone. At the moment, birdie and her mother are sitting in the restaurant in their cloaks, like a normal mother and daughter. At that moment, a hunter passes by the mother and daughter, with his flock of geese as prey and that birdie might be disturbed. The wife rushed her to the washroom, so she could hide for a while, but, when the wife was ready to collect birdie, she found only a pair of shoes left in the toilet. Birdie had flown away from the window. The wife kept calling out to Birdie, but she refused to stop, desperate to be free. After flying for some distance, Birdie finally fell out of the sky and landed on a mattress. That is a little Jenny's room. A child's imagination is boundless, so she was not surprised by Birdie's wings. Instead, she wondered how she could have wings. She built a bird's nest like a bird hatching an egg and sat the egg down under her bottom, but apparently it broke immediately. Then Jenny wants to take Birdie to the words to teach her to fly, so she put on her ill-fitting shoes and was carried by Jenny to the tree. Birdie soon flaps her wings and flies up to a branch high up in the trees. Jenny, unable to climb up, decided to sleep and go back to the tree tomorrow to learn from her. But when she woke up the next day, she couldn't find Birdie. 
Meanwhile, the couple who had found Birdie had flown away, grabbed their bags and started looking south for Birdie. They eventually meet up with little Jenny. The winged girl kept talking bird language. The birds in the trees were responding to her, but Birdie was getting happier and happier and almost danced. So the birds got tired of her, talking and left first. Birdie was puzzled and then she flew off after them. At that moment the hunters were shooting in the forest. A few people were shocked and they were afraid that, the hunter would kill the one, they were looking for, so they looked everywhere. Jenny saw a blue cloak fly into the well. She thought it was Birdie and went after her. Then Jenny followed the rope, to the bottom of the well. She kept feeling around but saw nothing, so it did not look like Birdie was here. But when she climbed out of the well, she was cold and dirty, so they had to stay at the hotel for the time being. It was raining heavily outside and the couple were worried if Birdie had gotten out of the rain in time. And Birdie sat dumbly on the ground, soaked to the skin. At the end of the night, she sneaks under the bed in the hotel and is discovered by little Jenny. She scolded Birdie, for sneaking away as a friend, she had to say goodbye next time. Jenny then noticed that Birdie was cold and would catch a cold. So Jenny tucked her in, and sang her a song, to put her to bed. By the next morning, Jenny told the couple that, they had found Birdie. When they arrived to see the baby, they were delighted that Birdie, had flown out of the window again. Birdie must not have gone far, so they packed their bags again and left the hotel to look for her. They climbed the trees and crossed the river but found nothing. So they tried to set her free. They decided to go home. But on the way back, the wife spotted Birdie. They were so excited, they went after her again, it was their last chance for Birdie was about to follow the geese, across the sea on their new journey. Just then Birdie had another accident. She fell into the water and drifted back to the shore. When the husband found her, he brought her back and the family was finally reunited. In the evening, the couple decided, try to feel their daughter's way of life. They added a bug deluxe to their dinner. The wife was going to let Birdie, use the fork again as was her habit. But she let her daughter, live her life the way, she wanted to sew for the first time, Birdie was allowed to eat without a knife and fork. Their daughter was found and they jumped for joy. They were all in a state of bliss. But after a while, Birdie kept flinging herself at the window. She still wanted to fly out, and experience the outside world. The couple understood, what Birdie wanted and decided to let her find freedom. They took the baby to the hillside and told her to go ahead. Bird smiled and said goodbye to her parents, then she flapped her wings and flew further and further away, with her parents watching behind her. They knew that, Birdie would have to grow up and face the future on her own. Parental love is undoubtedly great. But sometimes too much protection, can be a burden to a child. Each child is unique in his or her own way. Just as Birdie's wings seemed useless and she was even looked at differently for being different. But she has something that, all children dream of but cannot do. So true love is learning to, let go letting children fly in their own little world. Subscribe our channel, for more videos like this, and turn on notification, to get new movies alerts. Thank you for watching.